Hey, welcome to Small Craft Cruising. Kurt here with uh, Herbert the Boat, of course. If you don't follow my channel, I've been restoring Herbert for the past two years. If you do follow my channel, thanks. One of the things I'm finding is that docking or tying off Herbert to other things is kind of difficult. Here I am at the helm of Herbert up on the flybridge. Now the, the problem I'm running into is if, if I'm up here and I want to come to dock and my fenders are not deployed, I, of course I have to deploy them. So the first fender, of course, in the front of the boat is way down there. The second one, if I even have it tied on, uh, I, I, hang, I hang from this rail here, and it's there. And the third one is way off the stern over there. So let's do a quick test run. I know I'm tied off right now, but let's pretend for a second that I'm out in the middle of the water, and my fenders need to be uh, deployed so that I can dock, okay? Step one, i got to leave the helm, which if we're out in the middle of nowhere and I'm by myself, no one's steering the boat. So, and this is a reasonable amount of time it would take to do this job. Okay, we come around here, right now with the boat to drift or whatever it's doing, and of course I have the thing, bam, we've got that fender. Now, I know this is only a few seconds, but still, this entire time, and then we'll have the stern fender, bam. But, I still gotta go back up <laughs> to the helm. Okay, so it's not like it's a lot of time away from the helm, but a lot could go wrong. I decided there has to be a better solution to my problem. And well, I visited a few friends a while back for some water sports fun. Now of course, eventually we needed to stop for gas. And that's where I found a potential solution to this problem. Here I am at Discovery Bay. It's kind of in the northern side of California by San Francisco Bay and some other stuff. And I'm sorry for this pun, but I have made an amazing discovery. Check this out. As this cruiser came in for gas, you see there's like two strings or something holding the forward fender. One is attached somehow to a motor, which lowered the fender as they were coming in. So obviously, seeing that boat pull up like that, I had to check it out, right? So this is it. And don't worry, I'm not just poking around the boat. I actually talked to the owner and uh, asked if I could do this. So, um, so basically what it is, is we have like a, a solar panel motor thingy here, and then like a string and a fender, if you can see that there. And it just drops, oops, there we go. <laughs> it just drops and... Um, apparently you just you just reel it up and reel it down and it's all remotely done. Of course I had to ask, you know, where'd you get it? Well, it turns out the owner of this boat is actually the engineer who built that entire system. And let me show you what his uh, motivation was. And this is exactly the problem that I'm having. If I want to grab the back fender, piece of cake, right? But let's, let's go grab the front fender. First of all, I'm stepping on his couch, which is a little awkward. Or, not couch, you know what I mean. And then you gotta go around here, and see, this is almost as bad as Herbert. You gotta go up here, and this is basically how you get to the fenders, if you can't go through the middle. Something the owner pointed out is, in wintertime, the entire back of the boat is covered, and you have to go around on the swim platform, not over the couch. So this is me trying to simulate that endeavor, and I can totally understand why they just don't enjoy doing this. Realistically, this is exactly what I was thinking for for Herbert, and um, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to uh, try it out. Naturally, I bought a pair of these motorized fenders, and when they came in, it was back to the lake to see how well they work for me and Herbert. Installation is easy enough, you basically just need a screwdriver. But I ran into a problem pretty quickly. The system is designed to hang from the rails, but Herbert's rails are too short. So this means I had to get a little creative with the mounting hardware and install a few things backwards. I'm still trying a few different mounting ideas, but this is what I've come up with so far, and it works just fine. Back on the flybridge, well, let's make him go. <laughs> now, I understand that watching fenders deploy remotely may not be the most riveting thing you've seen on YouTube, but on one hand, this one small upgrade means a lot of added safety for me when I'm boating alone. More importantly, going on deck to deploy the fenders is totally a pain, and now I don't have to do it anymore. So this one simple upgrade, I mean, in the couple of months that's passed since I shot this video and am now finally getting around to editing it, it's really made boating on Herbert a lot more enjoyable. I honestly have used these motorized fenders for several months on Herbert and have been very happy with their performance. You can definitely expect a full review from me with all the technical bits soon, but for now, I'll just toss up a logo, here it is, Automatic Fenders, and mention that if you want to know more, you can check them out at automaticfenders.com.
Thanks for checking out Small Craft Cruising. Do you have an idea for a video? I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you want to see more videos more frequently, you can now sponsor me and Herbert on my Patreon. Links in the description.